Did you know that most homes in America are located near a major earthquake fault line? Well, today I'm in Brea, California at Simpson Strong Tie, and we're going to show you some of the latest building components to make your home safer, stronger, more resistant to earthquakes and wind. At the Simpson Strong Tie Laboratory, they use a machine that simulates the destructive force of an earthquake or storm force winds. This test helps engineers develop stronger and more effective hold down devices for the home. The company produces dozens of different hold downs and connectors to make wood frame homes more resistant to the destructive forces of Mother Nature. All the components are made of top quality steel using machines that exert up to 400 tons of pressure to stamp the steel into shape. Today we'll be looking at an earthquake hold down that fits into the base of a wood framed wall. The steel is designed not to stretch, bend, or warp under extreme pressure. Eric, what are these devices and how do they help make our home more earthquake resistant? What we have here, Steve, is a strong wall panel. We've got a couple of hold downs attached to this panel and these hold downs transfer the load forces down to the foundation. How are they attached? The hold downs are attached to the structural wood member with our strong drive screws. We've got 20 of these screws holding the back plane of the hold down to each post. So then uh, what does these rods do and where do they go? This is a hold down anchor bolt. This goes down to the foundation and will connect with a coupler to this SSTB28, which is cast in place in the concrete. Well, it's pretty heavy duty, and how far down in the concrete does this go? Steve, this is the embedment line of the product. So everything below this line is below grade in the concrete. Wow, it would, I can't imagine the forces that would ever pull this out. It won't happen. It won't happen, that's right. So then basically what happens to a house in an earthquake is, you know, the it will move back and forth like this and then eventually collapse. So really the exactly. whole art here is to make a system that transfers these loads efficiently into the foundation. And that's what we've got right here. Well, what are we going to test for today and what are we going to see? Okay, what we're simulating today is a garage door opening. We've got one panel on each side of our garage opening and they're tied together with a header. What type of earthquake are we going to simulate? What we're looking at when we run a test here today is about three 7.0 earthquakes. So that's equivalent to the 1994 earthquake in Los Angeles. Right. Well, let's fire it up. Basically, these panels aren't designed to deflect more than, say, half an inch on average. So what we're doing here is a destructive test to see exactly how these panels perform. Well, it looks like they're doing pretty good. Tell me how all this works so it fits together. Is it glued or nailed? What we've got here is a fine balance between wood material and mechanical fasteners. So we've got the hold downs attached with the screws that we talked about a little bit earlier. And this oriented strand board panel, which we call a diaphragm, is attached to the perimeter of this panel with the standard 10D common nail. But it goes through a special U-channel that we developed to get better function out of these nails in shear around the perimeter of the wall. I noticed we got some pretty heavy metal straps up there. That sort of holds everything together. But basically, this is a lot more forces than we'd see in a normal earthquake. Are you gonna test this till it breaks? We typically test these panels until they break. We push the panels to the maximum load for several minutes. Most earthquakes last for less than one minute. The test we're conducting here is three times stronger than a 7.0 earthquake. Eventually, the wood frame fails at the bottom of our simulated garage door opening. Well, Eric, we're at the other side of our garage door opening. Tell me how our wall did. It did very well, Steve. Um, as you know, this is a destructive test, so we pushed the wall out to a displacement where there's gonna be some form of destruction. So the way that the wall fell today was the bottom sill split, as you can see here. The ultimate goal is to design stronger, more earthquake and storm resistant walls to keep you and your family safe. If you'd like more information on how to build stronger and safer homes, contact us on the internet at michaelholligan.com.